Yo, what is up guys, it's Pud. Welcome back to another one. Oh, DJ Khaled Shadow right there. Another one. But yeah, anyway, today I'm going to be doing the part two of our 3D Cam tutorial series. And what I'm going to be teaching is another transition, but with a little bit of typography. So if you're down for that, stay to the end of the video. But anyway, let's get right into it. Yo, so guys, I already have my composition ready. It's 1280 by 720, 30 FPS. And what you want to do is you want to grab two clips so that we can work with them and if you want to do that go ahead and pause the video right now so in the last video i showed you guys how to set up the 3d cam layer and how to start editing in 3d just in case you guys have forgotten already i'm going to show you how to do that again so what you want to do is you want to click your top clip then go to layer new camera bad boy camera so now that you got your camera down what we did was we made sure that we turned our clips to 3d and then we, we checked to see if it was working for us and as you can see it's working so we made that the same size as our clips if you want the other thing we added was a null so layer new null and for the ones that watched the last tutorial yes we call him that shit daddy null we mean in that shit and now you want to um, come down to your camera come over here to the swirly looking line over here use the Mackey looking symbol you want to click hold drag to null and then make no 3D layer. So guys, now that we got our camera in no doubt, what we want to do is set up our scene. To do this, we may, we might want to extend our clips actually. And now to set up our scene, guys, what we want to do is we want to come and hit P on the no, create a key, come to the end, minus, let's try 15,000. And now we need to bring this bottom layer out, this bottom because we can't see it, only the top one. So to do that, hit position on your bottom clip. And also go to the third option and position and minus 15,000. And now guys, if you go like this with your timeline to preview, you'll notice that it comes all the way back to this clip here, the bottom one. So we'll call this, this key point A and this key here point B. So between point A and point B, we want our text layers to be in between them. To do that guys, all you need to do is come down further, down your timeline, hit your top clip, then come to layer, new, text layer. Type anything guys, for now we'll just type pad. You can type whatever, I'll just type pad. And now we want to grab our anchor point and center it. So to do that, you click this icon up here underneath layer. Grab the anchor point and move it to the middle. Now you can click back on your arrow and grab this and center it. Turn, it, turn your text layer into a 3D layer and then come here and grab this blue Z axis and you can pull it forward or you can just come here, hit position and the third option, scroll it to the left of course you can change the font if you want guys this is i'm just showing you as an example of how to do this but yeah if you want to change the font go ahead and do that and uh, yeah that's pretty good let's just have a look first yeah and now you want to come a bit more down say about here duplicate this text layer guys and now you want to put your next text you want to type whatever your next text is going to be for this i'll just type pad backwards <laughs> And then you want to hit P for position and move that one forward as well. And if we go through the timeline again, you see how it that's pretty decent. And then for our third one, our third text, duplicate that layer, come here, and then the next one we'll type is tutorial. Position on this one, third option in the position settings. Drag it out and tutorial. So guys the anchor points off maybe off a bit. But just remember guys all you need to do to fix the anchor point is click this icon, grab that anchor point and drag it into the middle. And now we've got three ticks. Now come to about here just before that last scene comes in. Duplicate the top clip, the top text layer. And do your next text. So I'll do 3D. Hit P to bring up position and bring that one forward. Yes. 
Oh, that one's off, so grab that anchor point and center it. Oh, guys, let's have a look. Yes, now we can shorten all the clips to the same size. Control, control shift D if you're wondering how to cut the clip. So now what you want to do with this last clip guys is you want to rotate it. Like fully rotate it to plus 180 on the Z rotation. And you want to come to your final text guys, the fourth one. And fully rotate that one also. Plus 180. Now you want to come back to Tutorial. We can also hit R on Tutorial, rotate it, but not 180. We just want to rotate this one to 90, plus 90. And deep. You can keep those two the same if you like, guys. Now we'll have a preview before we go into graph editing. Now guys, what you want to do is come up to null, hit R for rotation, create a key for Z rotation, come to about here, and hit 180. Now you can preview. So you may notice that it's going the wrong way because the, the um, text look like they're upside down. To fix that, what you got to do is minus 180. Try it on minus 180, see if it works. And... Actually, we can just fix this ourselves. So, pad. Dupe. Yeah, dupe's all good. Tutorial. That one's upside down, so... What we want to do, hit R on tutorial and on Z rotation, minus 90. Yeah, that's better. And that's basically it, guys. But you can also highlight your rotation keys, F9, and Easy Ease. That's decent. Guys, also remember activate motion blue. Make sure you click that also it activates it. Gives you a nice blue. And now guys you you might want to check like a CC burn on the bottom one so then it, it doesn't just randomly appear. CC Burn, burn film. And you yeah, come to about here. Create a key for burn. Do it to 100, and then come to about here and set it to zero. So look at that. Here it goes, and then. If you want, like we did with our last tutorial, you can go layout new, solid, and yeah, just black. Okay, drag it to the bottom. And then we can add our particles in here also, from the preset pack I gave you guys the other day. This also works with uh, Element 3D text, so if you want to try that, go ahead guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, just experiment with a lot of things. You yeah, guys, that's it. That's basically it for the tutorial. You yeah, guys, this is a little harder to do than the last one. Like, you can try graphing it to, to whatever suits you, but if you enjoyed, please leave a like. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. Yours are. Let's